She has gone where no black woman had gone before. However, for Dr. Sion Proctor, going to space was less about her, more about her family, those who came before her, and giving people their own space to inspire. That's why 30 years after graduating from ASU, they are now honoring her for Black History Month. For Dr. Sion Proctor, she's living a dream. How cool is it to say that out loud? I'm an astronaut. <laughs> it, it always kind of like catches me. It is great to be able to say that because it was a childhood dream that became a reality. In 2021, Dr. Proctor was a member of the first all civilian space flight to orbit Earth aboard SpaceX's Inspiration4. There's nothing better than floating, okay? <laughs> like two things, everybody should be able to float at some time and, uh, and experience, like I said, Earth light. Even better, she broke barriers, becoming the first black woman to pilot a spacecraft. It was amazing in the sense that you dream of, you know, as a kid, of maybe I'll be a first for something, but then you think, oh, the reality of that is not gonna happen. But it also comes with a lot of responsibility, awesome. you know? Well, because you can't mess it up. You're opening the door, you're trying to inspire the next generation, and unfortunately, a lot of times when you're a person of color, and if you don't you know, do 200%, you know, if you're not the best of the best, and people can find fault in that, then they will say, see, you know, we shouldn't have gone with you know, her. That be the best attitude comes from her father, Edward Proctor, who worked for NASA and on the Apollo 11 mission when Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. He never told me that I couldn't do it. Um, and you, you think about the fact that both of my parents grew up in segregation and then, you know, neither of them had college degrees. And so the idea of education was really important to my dad. He saw it as a, a making opportunity. To celebrate Black History Month, ASU is honoring Dr. Proctor and alumni during their Space to Inspire event where she will unveil her Afrobotica artwork. However, she made it her mission to celebrate another alumni, Ed Dwight, the first black astronaut candidate. We have moments to celebrate um, history. Ed had an opportunity to be the first uh, black astronaut and it was, you know, taken away. And now I want history to know who he is. Celebrating the past, yet inspiring people for the future. How many pinch me moments do you have throughout your day? I have a lot because one, just knowing that, you know, every time I, you know, wear my best or go out and somebody sees me and says, wow, you know, uh, you made me cry or the hearing your story was just so motivational and so inspiring that uh, it made me want to do X, Y, and Z. Um, those, those moments are precious. She is very inspiring.